Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to show you the three Rilakkuma stores I went to in Japan. The first one is inside Tokyo train station. The second one is in Sendai train station. And finally, the last one is located in Kiriland in Harajuku, Tokyo. Come join me on this Rilakkuma store hunt. Let's go! Oh my gosh, after almost an hour looking for this Rilakkuma store, I finally found it. Tokyo station is just like a crazy huge station. It's even bigger than an airport. Oh my goodness, there's just so many different exits and the map is not clear. So I'm so excited because I finally found the Rilakkuma store and I'm going to go check it out. Ah. <laughs> Check out the cashier. Did you eat them? Tak sang lak mana audio. I am seeing a lot of Lakuma plushies. Kawaii, Kawaii, Kawaii. I found a lot of Lakuma and I'm gonna adopt this as Lick's little brother. Yes. Um, to be what? Lime Creations shop in Kima shop? <gasps> brown. Let's get the So we have brown enough to Oh, that's not brown. I don't know what that is. Hmm. I thought that was um, brown and coney related. I guess not. Let's move on to the next shop. Rilakuma, Rilakuma. The second Nilakuma store I went to was located in Sendai, which is approximately one and a half hours from Tokyo to Sendai on the Hayabusa Shinkansen or the bullet train. Sendai is the largest city in the Tohoku region, which is the northeast of Japan. Date Masamune is a famous figure in Sendai city as he was the head of this Date clan. He was well known for a few things that made him stand out at the time, which was his famous crescent moon bearing helmet and his eye patch on his right eye as he lost sight of his right eye as a child. And only here in this Lilakuma store do we see this Date Masamune version of Lilakuma. Isn't it adorable? Sendai is also known for its baseball team, Tohoku Lakuten Golden Eagles, which was formed in 2004. Does Lakuten sound familiar to you? Yes, Lakuten is the retail online marketplace. It has now become global and I even use Lakuten to shop sometimes. Check out all this Lilakuma in their Lakuten baseball team shirts. 
Again, these special items are only available in the Sendai Lilacuma store. The last Lilacuma store I visited in Japan was the one located in Kidiland in Harajuku, Tokyo. Kidiland is a tax-free toy and character store located in Tokyo. It has so many characters, ranging from Snoopy to Hello Kitty to Lilakuma and so much more. Whether you are a kid or an adult, I'm sure you love checking out this store. Due to my rush schedule, I got to this store around half an hour before closing, so I was able to only check out Lilakuma stuff and didn't get a chance to take a good look at other cute characters. However, I did purchase my romantic toy at the store right before it closes. I got the Kalita coffee sets. Please see link in my description box if you are interested in watching unboxing of the Kalita coffee set. Anyways, what did you think of the Lilakuma stores I went to in Japan? I know there is an onsen or a hot spring themed Lilakuma shop and cafe in Alashiyama, Kyoto and Miyajima in Itsukushima which is close to Hiroshima. I've been to both of those cities in the past but I didn't think the onsen themed Lilakuma store was there at the time. Anyways, I will try to check out more Lilakuma stores in other locations around Japan next time. If you know of any cute Lilakuma stores in Japan, feel free to share in the comment below. Today, I want to show you this small Lilakuma that I got at Tokyo train station. So there is a Lilakuma store located in the Tokyo train station and it was very, very difficult for me to locate that store. I was walking all over Tokyo train station and wasn't able to locate the store finally I found it it's pretty much on the bottom level and that area is where all the cute stuff are so anyways this Lilakuma is a small size Lilakuma plush and this was approximately 1400 yen which equals to approximately $10.50 with the current exchange rate of one US dollars equals approximately 129 to 130 Japanese yen. I want to show you the back. So with this Lakuma, you can open the zipper. So there's, there's a little spot for you to put items inside if you want. So basically this is exactly the same Lakuma that I have at home except this one is so much smaller which is a very good size for me to take him when I go travel um, and then here there's a little tag here oh I like this little song in the Lakuma face um, there's a little tag here it says Lilakuma no Himitsu <gasps> that means Lilakuma's secret I wonder what the secret is anyways the back of this card it has his favorite food pancake and then of course just this tag right here so the price is 1300 yen including tax and everything so approximately 1400 yen okay so let me just cut out this himitsu this um his secret and see what's inside i don't have a scissors with me so i'm just gonna use this nail clipper Okay, here we go. Ta-da! Oh my lord, this is so cute. So this is all his secrets. <gasps> okay, so let me see. Oh, there's a lot to, to look at. So here it says, Oh, Elu no Kaoru-san no ie ni ikinari sumi tsuita kigurumi no kuma desu. <gasps> So cute. I see. And then on the back. Oh my goodness, look at this. <laughs> and then of course Lilakuma no skina mono skina tabemono wa tango hoto keki omulaisu pulin nado. Mmm, so his favorite food is of course the dango, the mochi dango, the hot cake, which is the pancakes omu rice meaning omelette rice and the pudding i didn't know that about that so that's his secret okay oh so his favorite kaori item is this yellow piece cushion oh cute 
。テレビを見ること、音楽を聞くこと、温泉に入ることが好き。He also likes to watch TV and listen to music as well as he enjoys hot spring. あ、ah,、didn't know that. Anyways, I'm not gonna read this. I'm very tired right now and I'm just going to fall asleep very fast. Anyways,、uh, I hope you like this cute new Lilakuma member that's gonna join the big Lilakuma team. And I will see you all next time. Oh, by the way, his fur is a little bit different from the one that I have at home. His, it's Much softer, and also, if you kind of brush it up or down, as you can see, it gives a different shade. Whereas the one at home it doesn't have that issue. So, you know, the one at home is much more low maintenance. This one,、uh, look at him. You just have to make sure that every time when you take a photo of him, all the fur color is in one direction. Okay, so that's all. He's gonna travel with us from now on. Yay! That's all for today's video. I hope you enjoyed this video and I will see you all in my next video. Bye!